So we'll just trim up the these areas in here. You see they're not they're not too deep, but what you're trying to do is you're just trying to open them up a little bit more so when he goes out he's going to have then a flatter surface to work with in terms of the uh, when he hits the ground okay so this is what I would encourage you to do and don't be too over overzealous about it either because you can you can actually do them some damage if you go too deep Thank you. And this is all you're doing this for is to make sure that he's got a surface that over the next month or so when you'd probably come back and do another trim that these holes are not too too much uh, filled in and collecting of, uh, of debris that's all, that's all you're doing because you're always going to have to do footwork on him so as long as you can keep him in a realm that is um, productive keeps his feet healthy doesn't cause him too much trauma in terms of if he has to go out now onto a surface where there's a lot of rocks or you know you have a lot of sand out there so I don't see that being any, any much of a problem being very careful not to stand right in front of him I know he doesn't but I've seen some bulls that kick just get the bibs and bots, bobs off him here so it's nice and clean Essentially flat, but not like not like a concrete surface. Just so that you can run your hand across it, and you don't feel too many you don't feel too many bumps. So uh, so you've got a few down here to do now, I'm going to leave those with you so you okay. can, up here's finished, so we're pretty much done up here. Just finish this piece off here and then we'll let you do the rest so you, you get your, your trimming practice in. Okay, I'll take that off you. There we go. Yeah, just don't go over it flat, go into it at an angle, but then guide it with your hands. You've got to guide it with your fingers. So notice the way I was holding it. I was holding it this way, and I was pushing with my thumb. Okay. Yeah? So it's sort of like this? Well, are you left handed or right handed? I'm right handed. 
Yeah, your right hand, you would hold it in your right hand. Like that. Like this. I see. <laughs> <laughs> and then you would push it away from you. Or pull it towards you, depending on what, what cut you're doing. Okay. I'm going to have to stand on it. Like that. Okay, that's fine, love. That's fine. But you'll have to get used to being on both sides anyway, so. Okay. And you, what you're doing is you're pushing it with your with your fin with your thumb, so that you have some traction on there, and it's not a loose wielding knife. You're not, it, it's not being wielded all over the place. And because when you get to this sensitive tissue or it's lighter than it is, then you've got to be careful that you just don't drift your knife into something that um, you'll regret. There's not a lot to do, but just get a feel for it, and then okay. we, we can call it after you've had enough. Talk to him. See if you put his foot up. There we go. Are you good? <laughs> Alright, then we'll call it quits on that. <laughs>